What's up, everybody? Got this package in the mail here from Amazon. Big old box. Hmm. Can't wait to see what's inside. All right, be right back. We'll open it up. All right, folks, something back. Got it cut open. Try to do this with one hand here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Folks, we got a keyboard. Look at this. Check this out. It's a KM400 plus G3. Born for gaming. Gaming keyboard, mouse, and mouse pad combo. Is that a Scorpion? Yeah. Let's see here. Anti Gosen 19 keys. What is it? Row over support. Backlighted characters. Uh, I don't know, it's 6D or GD gaming mouse. Z400 DPI optic sensor. So we got uh, the keyboard, mouse pad, and a mouse with it. Light instructions with three colors backlight. Alright, folks, I'm gonna push that to the side. We got one more thing in here. The USB 2.0 4 port ultra mini hub. Alright. Let's get these boxes open and check out. Be back in a second. Alright, we're back. We got the little, the first one, little bitty one here open. This is a uh, get it out here. Amazon Basics. Uh, you got three ports here. Uh, one port in the back. So I guess that makes up the four port hub. And uh, I guess you just plug that in and then you have extra four ports here. Pretty neat little gadget. Especially when you tie up all your USB ports. Let's see, we got a little card or something on here. This is instructions. Yeah, it's just a... Uh, tells about the device and, and all that good stuff. Alright. We got that. Everything is always hard to open. Thank God for a box cutter. And I think I got this upside down. Flip it over. Alright, folks. That's it right there. Nice. Take this out. See if I can do this. I should be using my other camera and tripod but got this here I got to a side it looks like the the mouse pad port awfully big look like it's uh covers the scorpion user manual eh, we don't need manuals right I'll just throw them aside well, that's all that's in the box Slide this out. Take a better look at it. A little bit light for blinding, but pretty nice. You got a gamer right there. All right, shift and enter backspace. Hmm. Doesn't look too bad, folks. Marvo Touch Wisdom. Kind of hard to see. Like this 
like it is right now it's hard to see the keys you have to really look at them to see what's on there yeah let's flip it over take a look at the back uh, since it's wired I guess there won't be no batteries for it I got a leg piece here and got a little rubber piece there same here rubber piece got a leg here and then uh, I got that there made in China five volts work voltage cool um, yeah. yeah, I hope it's a pretty long cord, that's one thing that matters, I know. probably get extension if it wasn't, oh folks, check this out, toss that box aside, take this wrapper off, and that's USB port 2, pretty long cord on it, Oh, I like that. Check that out. Uh, yeah, left and right button. Let's see here. Yeah, it's got the uh, don't do it to the left but you can push it to the right like one of the other mouses I had and push down and we got this button here don't know what that button does you just got a, a circle a line tail on it I can see it right there it's kind of hard to focus but you also got the left and right buttons here well not left and right forward and backwards like you want to back up a page and then you want to go back to that page and just hit forward or the front button good it's got the optic 2400 dpi made in china Oop, don't want to see the serial number uh, i like this folks uh stay tuned we're going to get it plugged up and everything probably a little bit later on for me to get it hooked up because I gotta get ready for uh go get the kids here in a little bit my son's got band practice this evening or not band practice band play uh he's on the drums and stuff so yeah I gotta get ready for that too but anyway there he is oh I forgot to forgot to almost the next important part get this rubber band off of here oh my god folks this thing is long that's what she said too over right? that <laughs> just kidding just kind of give you all an example right there is the end of the keyboard end of the mat oh check out that red i wish it was blue like that that'd be nice there it goes all the way on over here and uh yeah it swallows the keyboard y'all see all the way over it so you can set the keyboard on that and a mouse down here on the end but y'all know what color i'm gonna have the keyboard on it's gonna be a blue or that purple which my, i say it's purple my kids say it's pink so it don't matter pink purple and blue pretty good and it's also supposed to have red i think but uh don't go nowhere i'm just gonna pause it for a second which will be a couple hours for me but when I return, it'll be just for a second for y'all. We'll see it all plugged up and the pretty lights. So hold on just for a second, okay? All right, folks. Here's the keyboard, mouse pad. I'm going to show y'all the mouse. Nice little setup. Going a little bit better. It's blue, purple and red but the mouse is totally different from the keyboard it's a two-tone uh, you can't set the settings to it or at least I can't find a way to set the settings on the colors but to show y'all 
what it looks like with the lights off. Here's the mouse. You look at it and see. There you go. All kind of different colors. All kind of different colors there, folks. Purple. It looks pink, but it's purple. Red. And blue. Get a pullback picture here. pretty nice folks it's pretty nice but you can come in here see if I can do this without function hit select twice and while you're holding function you can cycle through the different colors there's red blue my favorite purple but that's function and the select button If you hold function and hit the PS button, it'll put it in the breathe mode and it'll cycle through all the colors. There again, you got the PS and the select button or SL, what I call it, select button. But you hit function and PS puts it in breathe mode. To take it out of the breathe mode, you hit function and hit the SL twice. But as you can see, the mouse, I'll do this right here. The keyboard's the same one color, and then the mouse is changing different colors. It's got all kind of different colors to it. I hope it's showing up on camera, because it's, it's pretty neat. I wish you could change it to match the keyboard. As you can tell there, there it goes. See? Same, pretty much same color. They don't stay that way very long. So it's something I have to work with. There might be some changes. But the uh, only thing different from this keyboard than uh, any other keyboards that I can tell of is if you power off your computer, power it back on, there's a little blue looking light right here I'm covering up with my finger. It's the number lock. You have to hit the number lock right there each time you turn your computer on to get the numbers over here to work. Looked like it would be vice versa, but I guess that's just the way it's set up. But folks, y'all enjoy this. Be sure to hit that like button. Uh, if you like my videos, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, I mean, if you have subscribed already, Hit that post notification button and that will pull up or you know every time I get a video out they'll notify you those little buttons way back there in the back that's my uh, HDMI switcher now, there you have it folks that's my setup there's the computer still going good uh, yeah Anyway, thanks y'all for watching, and uh, see y'all next time. Mr. Blue, a.k.a. Tommy Miller, signing off.